Hey everybody, I'm Adrian Bustamante and welcome to Food Deconstructed, where every week we take apart the ingredients of one specific dish and reconstruct them in some fun, new, and exciting recipes. This week's dish was actually inspired by an episode of Recipe Wars I did with Chef B.C. Hoffman. Now I didn't win, but I figured it'd be fun to see what we can do and deconstruct the American favorite cheeseburger. So let's get started. This first recipe is gonna be a cheeseburger ice cream sundae. Now, this recipe is a little different and just about a little bit weird, so I'm excited and also a little bit apprehensive at the same time, because I do have to eat this. But the first thing we're gonna start with is our ice cream, and uh, we're gonna make the base now. We're gonna start by getting our burner ready, taking our whipping cream, as well as our milk. Now, our ice cream base is actually gonna be a cheddar and caramelized onion base which obviously you can see where those ingredients are coming from the cheeseburger. And then we're actually going to be taking some beef candied sprinkles and putting that over the top of it. But along with that, we're also going to be doing a ketchup, bacon, and caramel sauce. So you can kind of see how all these cheeseburger ingredients are going to be coming together, making this fun new dish. So I've placed my heavy whipping cream and my milk in this pot. I'm going to let it come to a boil. Once that does come to a boil, I'm going to take my shredded cheddar cheese. This is about one package or eight ounces some beef stock, about four ounces of that, and we're gonna take a little bit of salt as well. We're gonna put it all in this bowl, whisk it together, and then we'll move on from there. All right, my cream, my milk have done boiling. I'm gonna take it off the heat, place it in my pot here, and I'm gonna quickly add my cheddar cheese, my beef stock, my sugar, which is about one cup of granulated sugar, and a little bit of salt. I'm gonna whisk this all together. Now normally during my recipes I kind of give you ideas of you know what you can do to replace something or maybe add or take away if somebody's vegetarian but in this case I would just maybe go with regular ice cream but uh, you know this is food deconstructed so we're gonna get a little different today and we're gonna try and deconstruct this cheeseburger the best way we can. Now let's whisk it together it won't be much you're just trying to get all the ingredients together because what we're going to do is we're going to transfer from this bowl into our blender and blend it into a nice creamy substance so we can actually place it into our ice cream core. You're going to see some of the cheese obviously stick to your whisk a little bit, but that's because you know we added cheese to a hot liquid, so it's going to melt on you a little bit. Don't worry about that. If you need to scrape some of it off, you can. Make sure I don't lose a whole lot of my cheese. Just try and get it off. All right, good enough. All right, we're gonna take this now and place it in our blender. Now you're just gonna blend it just for a little while, like I said, until it becomes nice creamy substance. You'll know what it's done because you'll see that most of the grated cheese we put in there is kind of blended through into our liquid completely. Uh, it's a slight orange color. So I'm going to grab our ice cream core. All right. Take this and place it in our core. Now you're going to place this in the ice cream maker and you're going to follow the directions according to your own ice cream maker. For us, we're going to put it in for about 20, maybe even 25 minutes. But five minutes before it's just about done, we're actually going to add our caramelized onions to it as well, just to increase that flavor to it. Once that's completely done, we're going to freeze this for roughly about two hours in a nice airtight container and then take it out you know, roughly 15 minutes or so before we're ready to serve it so it gets nice and soft. All right, my ice cream machine is running. Now it's time to make our beef candied sprinkles. Now we're making the beef candied sprinkles with beef bacon. Now beef bacon is not something you can normally find at your normal run of the mill grocery store for the most part, but you can definitely check it out at any kosher store. Uh, it's usually there for yourself. So we're using this obviously because we're deconstructing the cheeseburger, so I wanted to use some type of beef product in our food. So we're gonna be taking some brown sugar, some cayenne pepper and some cinnamon. And place all this in a bowl. Oh. 
Really simple. Anybody can do this at home. You can get your kids in with it. Just gonna whisk these ingredients together. Once these are all whisked together, all we're gonna do is take our beef bacon, rub it through here to kind of make sure that all the sugar and cinnamon and cayenne pepper gets all over the bacon, and then we're gonna pop it in the oven. That's gonna create that nice candied beef that we're looking for. That's fine. Use my hands a little bit here. Break up some of the bigger parts. All right. I'm gonna take one strip. Now you'll notice the biggest difference from this from bacon is there's a little less fat throughout the bacon. You'll see a little more of the actual, you know, leaner beef. There's not a whole lot of lean beef in here. You know, just like most bacon, it's usually a little more fat than it is lean meat. But you'll see a little bit more lean meat than normal. Now you want to get as much of that brown sugar and cinnamon and cayenne pepper on there as you possibly can. Because again, we're making some candied beef here. Now once one is done, I'm going to bring it over here. Place it on your baking sheet, there's one, and you just go down the line. Now once you're done, you're going to put it in the oven. It's going to be about 350 degrees. At about 20 minutes, you kind of want to get an eye on it and make sure it's crispy enough to your liking. You may have to let it, let it sit in there for another five or 10 minutes or so if you want it to become a nice, really crispy, hard piece of candied bacon. That's good enough there. All right. Those three pieces should be enough for us, but you can make as much as you want at home. So I'm gonna take this, pop it in the oven, and I'll be right back. All right, that's in the oven. Now every good Sunday needs a sauce. So we're gonna be making a ketchup, bacon, and caramel sauce. We're gonna get our pot started here. So we're gonna take our water, about a quarter cup, some sugar, and some corn syrup. We're gonna place it in our pot here. Start with the water. Move on to our sugar, and of course, the corn syrup. Now obviously you can see we're trying to make a nice sweet base here for yourself with the sugar and the corn syrup. It's going to help us kind of get that nice ice cream sundae texture that we're hoping for. So we're going to mix all this together, let it come to a boil. Now you don't want to stir it because otherwise it'll start to crystallize and we don't want that. So this is going to come to a boil. Now you'll see it start, start to become kind of a rich amber color. Once it starts reaching that color, that's when you know this is just about done and we can bring it off. And while that's doing its thing, I'm going to take some bacon, dice them up, and saute them and get ready for the rest. So we're going to use regular bacon for this one. Get a little couple different meat products in here. And when cutting the bacon, make sure you put a little bit of force into it. It's because it is a fatty piece of meat, so it's not going to be as easy to cut through as your normal meat will be. So you can make these pieces as large or as small as you want. I'm going to try and get them into little smaller pieces when I'm dicing it. We're good there. I'm gonna let these saute up a little bit. I'm not even gonna need to put any oil in there because obviously the bacon is gonna have its own oil in it, so I'm gonna let it kind of cook in its own fat. This is slowly turning a little bit of that golden amber color I'm hoping for, so I'm gonna let these cook, let this finish up, and then we'll keep moving along with our sauce. All right, our caramel sauce has turned that nice, rich amber color, so I'm gonna take it off the heat real quick, and then we're gonna add our cream. It's going to bubble up on you, so be prepared for that. If it bubbles, you're not doing it wrong. And then the ketchup. Now we're going to place it back on the burner and bring it up to a boil again. Shouldn't take long, but let that kind of boil up and mix in on its own. Now my bacon is just about done doing its thing over here. I want to just make sure that all the fat is kind of getting in there because that is going to come in handy on the next piece. Now that's there. What we're going to do is we're going to add some butter, as well as some vanilla to the pan as well. And we're going to let that simmer and cook down. That's coming to a boil. I'm going to try and whisk it together. Now that it's boiling, it'll be easier to whisk together. If you try and do it previous to this, all you're going to do is have your whisk stick right in. So now that it's nice and smooth, it's easier to bring it all together. 
You'll see that nice amber rich color. That's done doing its thing. Lower the heat so it doesn't burn. But now I'm going to add some of this grease from this bacon in here. Now again, if you're doing this at home, be very careful. This can get to be very hot. You don't want to burn yourself. Perfect. Again, whisk it together. Different type of smell is definitely coming up. Not really sure. It's definitely sweet. You get a little savory smell coming from it, but it might just be from the bacon up front. Really interested to see what this is going to taste like when it all comes together. But you can see that nice caramel color coming in. I don't know if, you, if you can see this at home, that's become that nice dark caramel color that you used to seeing. So we're going to bring this off. We're going to let it cool just at room temperature here. We'll let it do its thing, kind of harden a little bit. Turn our bacon off. Save that for later. And my candied beef bacon should be done. And it is. You guys can kind of see how this has turned out. The beef bacon has got nice and crispy. That nice crystallized brown sugars all over it. it. Should be that nice sweet and savory meat that I'm looking for. Our caramel sauce is done. So now all we gotta do is just get our ice cream and ready to plate. All right, everybody, welcome back to Food Deconstructed. Now it's time to taste. Now we brought on Chef BC Hoffman of Recipe Wars. We know each other from that show. I know you. I know, right? Well, <laughs> first is first, we have some ice cream. I like that. We're starting off with dessert first. Well, of course, we have a cheeseburger ice cream. Now, normally I would just say taste it and tell me how it tastes and I'll you know, kind of let you know how I thought it tastes, but I haven't had this one yet. Okay. And I haven't had this one because this is the one I was most scared of. So, so I figured. What is it that we're jumping into here? Right. We have cheddar cheese and caramelized onion ice cream with a candied beef bacon and with a ketchup and bacon caramel sauce. You know, I'm actually really excited to try the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see how this goes. We're going to both get into this. I needed some moral support with this. Should, should, I, should I go for like everything at and, once? You know, you or should to, I, it's uh, a rule. You have to take okay. everything at once. Lettuce too? or uh, You can leave the lettuce. Okay, good. Because I mean, I'm not a big lettuce fan on my ham cheeseburgers anyway. So. I'm not a big fan of lettuce on my salad right. slash Sunday slash yeah. anything. Well, let's see how this goes, huh? Uh, this is chunky. Bottoms up, you see. <laughs> No. Whoa. Surprisingly? Yeah. I actually kind of like it. I do too. I think I'm going to go in for number two right here. You know what there Just was? Just so I can break it down. I agree. I had to take a minute for my taste buds to settle down because I think they were so tense from fear of putting this in my mouth. <laughs> and after it actually they relax, this doesn't taste that bad. So the ice cream is really good. Yeah, the ice cream is good. The, the cheddar isn't really overpowering, at least for me. Neither are the onions. It actually is kind of a really sweet ice cream with just a hint of cheese. Hmm. The candied bacon, yeah, beef, it, beef burger bacon. bacon. Yeah. I mean, you know me and bacon. Yeah, you love it. So. You know what? I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised with this one. Not I should have tasted this one by myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, so you think, pretty good? Yeah, I would possibly, possibly have that again.